right, what's up with it, Hood News Peeps? It's your girl Grizzy, and I'm here with the real voters of Harris County. Hey, hey. hey. Girl, girl. <laughs> can you tell us about your organization and and how you guys have formed a, 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 like it's like an alliance? <laughs> the Providence on Southmore is the official name, yes. and we're currently working on the real voters of Harris County uh, project. Uh, in addition to that, we're working under Houston in Action, okay. and Darrell Douglas is a part of Houston Justice, Justice. and he's one of the partnering uh, organizations. Um, Travis McGee works with us, with the real voters of Harris County, and I call him the mayor of Sunnyside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard him called <laughs> Yes, but like I said, we are 501c3. We are a nonprofit organization, and right now we're focused on getting citizens out to vote. Okay. All right, Hood News Peeps. So we've got Travis, Kayla, and Darrell here today with us, yes. and they're going to talk to us about the importance of our votes being heard. I mean, you guys are non partisan right like not that is correct like you guys are not affiliated with one party or another or any of that what is your your goal our goal is to engage educate and mobilize we want to sit with people we want to talk with people we want to explain to them actually why we vote yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah. Um, and then give them resources to get educated uh, the League of Women Voters is a great resource. Uh, also, vote411.org is another resource. Harris County uh, has a resource called harrisvotes.com. Those are all great resources to get information about voting. We want you to do your research. Yes. yes. Do your research. What are some of the, the, the things, I guess, like, can you remind the, the peeps, like, some of the important dates coming up? Yes, yes. and actually, before I do that, I want to give, um, give props to this project that we're doing. We're actually going into the Harris County Jail Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, this week and next week. Okay. We're registering voters, and we're educating those who are locked up. So people don't know this, but if you're in jail and you're not on paper, you're not on probation or parole, if you're off papers, you can vote, right? Wow, see, there so, you go. See, <laughs> so like, listen, don't let these people jam you up and make you feel like you can't vote. Check the resources that she mentioned, and you probably can vote. And we really need you uh, to make these decisions, because if you sat across the table and you had that DA over there, right. right, you get to elect the DA this year. There will be a new DA in January, because the current DA lost her race, so it's going to be one out of two people. So pay attention to that. You, Your vote counts just as much as the judge that banged the gavel, the attorneys that represented you, and the DAs as well. But on those important dates, October 7th is the last day to register to vote or change your address. Go to uh, vote411.org, check your status, because they just did a huge voter purge where 1.1 million people in the state of Texas were just knocked off the voter roll. They, they, they mailed out a piece of paper saying verify that this is you and you live here. I don't know about you, but I don't check my mail. I check my mail like once a month. <laughs> once, a month. Okay. once a month. I get a little sticker that says, hey. You need to check your mail or else we're going to start throwing stuff away. So there's a huge likelihood that maybe people watching this might have been bumped off. Absolutely. Exactly. Wow. Absolutely. This is some crazy stuff. The first day to vote in person, because we have early voting here in Harris mm -hmm. County, so you can vote at any of the early voting locations. October, 20, October 21st is the first day. Go ahead, get it knocked out. Don't wait till the last day, because if you vote on election day, you have to actually go to your precinct. If you vote early, you can vote anywhere at any of the locations. And the line gets longer the closer you get to Election Day. Okay. All and, right. and then uh, Election Day, of course, is November 5th, 11-5. Don't forget it. All right. <laughs> Kayla, can you elaborate a little bit on those three factors, you know, the, the engaging and the educating and mobilizing a little more? Yes, I can. Uh, engage. We go out. We sit. Uh, we table at events. We go to churches. We go to parks. Uh, we host events. And at those events, we're trying to just educate people on the importance of voting and why we vote and we always tell people if you have children your children can't vote if they're under 18 but you can vote for them so vote for your children for one reason um, 
we mobilize. In other words, we want you to get to the polls. And my plan is to come up with 10 people and we're going to go vote. I early vote because I don't want any problems. So I'm going to be there the first day of early voting, which is? October 25th. Wait, wait, wait. No, October 21st. October 21st. <laughs> October 21st. Okay. We're going to be there October 21st, the first day of early voting. I'm going to be out there voting. So, we again, we engage, we educate, and then we mobilize. We get to the polls by any means necessary. <laughs> That's legal. <laughs> That's legal. That's legal. <laughs> That's legal. And let me say this. If you have a person that may be disabled, they can drive up to the polling location, and then at the polling location, they have workers that will come to your car, and that can allow you to vote at your vehicle. You don't have to get out of your vehicle. Okay. Your grandparents, uh, it could be friends, loved ones, whoever it is, if they are not able to get out of the vehicle, they will come to them at the polling location. They have a specific place for those people that are unable to get inside to the polls. And Travis, I just saw a comment right now. Somebody said, oh, Harris County just raised their taxes. That is why it's so important to vote. Can you tell us, for those who have never voted, because we have a lot of people that have never voted. Right. Like, what would you say uh, to the person that says, oh, it doesn't matter. Like, it's probably rigged or, oh, I don't want to, you know, I, what's the importance of my vote? Can you talk to us about that? Yes, it does matter. You have to take care of home first. Just as you know, they're trying to raise our taxes now. And if you just focus on only on presidential elections, you're going to overlook that every time. It's already that after each natural disaster, they can raise our tax without our consent. Mm. So bonds is another tax. Toll roads are another tax. So we, we overtaxed already. Mm. So they have to come out and vote. If you do not vote, they're going to keep continue to raise your taxes. Anything you want to say, uh, uh, Daryl and Kayla, uh, in regards to the importance of, of people's vote? It, I just want to say that your vote matters. Yeah. It, it matters. And we were given the right to vote, and we need to exercise our right to vote. People fought so that we could have a right to vote. Mm -hmm. And we want things in our community. We want our state to be a certain way. We want our country to be a certain way. You cannot complain if you don't get out to vote. Right. There you go. And then I would just say whether it's your trash not being picked up, whether it is the traffic, whether it is your concern about the schools, whether it's student loans, there's so many issues, access to health care that are like decided by the people that we vote in. So go ahead don't you don't have to take it all in at once find that issue that's important to you and it's almost like playing fantasy football or something like that you yeah. start with like one little corner and before you know it you, you know all the pieces and all the players so get out there and vote get out there and vote vote early october 21st let's knock it out all right i see all the feedback everybody's talking about how important it is they don't want to hear nobody complain do your research all those good things we want to thank you so much for coming out to join us today and for all the great work you're doing uh, you know, educating the peeps out in the community. And, and uh, yeah, we, we were very excited. We hope to see a lot more people this year voting and, and taking that power in their hands because that's what it is. And our votes are never free. We got people, that, they get elected, they have a job to do, right. and that's the message. They have a job to do, and we can easily remove them just like we put them in. <laughs> All right, friends, reporting live here. It's your girl, Grizzy. Back to you. Thank you, guys. All right. All right and more news on the way.